Hi everyone, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art. Welcome back to my channel and I get another long haul for you today on the gel plate. But this one's gonna be special. This is a Halloween one. Um, I don't do much Halloween. Um, I did a little bit last year, but I don't do a lot on the holidays. It's just, I don't, I don't prepare ahead enough. But anyway, um, I remember I was cleaning up my stencils and I found these, I forgot I had them. And these are from PM Artist Studio. Um, these two lovely ladies here who um, design these and they're part of a set. It's called the Five Pumpkins Potpourri with Tidbits. And I'll explain what that is. So you get these five pumpkin masks, right? But then you get the insides. Now the insides, so for example, I think these, this one came from here maybe, uh, uh, or one of these, I think it was this one. So they match up, right? But you get the point. And what I'm trying to say is these are um, the innards of the pump, of the actual pumpkin shape. And within that innard, they've created some really cool elements that you can um, mix and match and play with and create some really just cool, funky looking uh, jack-o'-lanterns. And here are some of the elements. So for example, you have um, some vine. This is, these are like, you know, when you get your pumpkin and it still has the stem on it with a vine and a leaf. So you get six leaves. Okay, and then you get, um, so you get three of those tails and you get some other things like some funky glasses, a mustache, some Dracula teeth, some funky stitch teeth, these X's and all these little shapes that you can use for eyes or noses, what have you, goofy teeth. So I'm just going to um, lay them out on the plate and I'm gonna do a long haul. And with those uh, long haul prints, I want to cover a couple of boxes um, for um, my art room, like for storage and stuff. So let me uh, get my gel plate and we'll set this up. I'm working on an 8x10 today. I really wish I had a bigger one, but this is gonna be our plate for today. Uh, get that try, been trying to get that air bubble out of there all day. So I'm thinking because my boxes aren't necessarily tall, they're more wide. I'm gonna do these prints in the landscape mode. Let the camera speak for the long way this way. So um, here's the thing: is which ones are we going to use? Um, so. And as I'm thinking about that in place, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about PM Artist Studio. They are a family-run business out of Texas, and they have um, wonderful artist tools. And they are uh, like these. These are Upo stencils. They also have uh, foam stamps that they make. They also have um, RD papers to download that you can play with, laser printed papers that you can use on the gel plate like to create um, transfers. And then you have also um, some really cool artist guides like um, uh, they just did a, a comparison review of uh, Yatsusomo, Yatsusomo papers. Um, but yeah, if you go to their website, pmrstudio.com, all kinds of great stuff um, for artists, for beginners, for intermediate, for everything. And there's a lot of stencils, but the reason they have a lot of stencils is because they don't inventory. They don't keep an inventory. Everything is made to order, which is fantastic because you're going to get the best quality um, product. And they're very good at um, uh, um, making sure things go out as best as they can. Um, plus, they always throw in extra treats. Now, when you do get a stencil, if you want the bits that are cut out of the design, you can request it in the uh, comment section of your payment. Um, it may not always happen, 
but they'll do the best to accommodate you. Um, and they've got some great stuff coming out, I know, this month and um, <clears throat> for Halloween. So I wanted to get a, a, a step up on that and show you what they already have for Halloween. <coughs> so let me go with the glasses here. I got the funky one here. Maybe we'll do one of these wacky ones down here. I kind of just want to fill in the paper with like the different images so that um, it fills up the gel plate. Um, but let's put that there. But I'm not worried about um, what am I trying to say? I am just, you know, making it look like fun, wacky, um, and just, tr like I said, uh, I was trying to fill up the pages so that I could, I keep losing my train of thoughts because I'm trying to figure this out while I'm talking to you. Uh, but I want to basically create um, some, you know, just cool, interesting prints that are going to go on a box. And I'm going to use the tissue, um, Carnival Wet Strength Tissue, for my paper. All right. So how about that? Well, maybe not on that one. I don't know. I'm not liking that. Maybe we'll do the leaves like random, like here. Maybe one here. I don't want to overlap these, that's for sure. And the trick with a long haul, for doing a long haul with uh, bits and pieces like this, is it can be, they can move on you. So be aware of that. Avoid aggressively brayering, which I probably would do because I forget. Um, and then you can, um, hopefully keep everything intact. So let's keep going with this one. I'm going to put the scar down. It looks like a scar, right? Put that down there. And he needs an X here. Well, that's the same X there. So maybe do the X on this one. I think that would be cool. And this one needs, I think, this one needs a mustache. What do we have here? Those are the leaves. Leaves, leaves. Let's do, uh, can we do one of these up here? I think that's too big. But what I could do. This one here, like upside down, should get things coming in different directions. Yeah, yeah. And I wonder if we could put a fit a leaf in there or something else we could fit. Um, could do some funky eyes. Yeah, and this one. See, these are all kinds of little bits, and you know, you can just you know use your imagination. This one has a scar there. This one's other eyeball is wonky, like that one. And then we have we need an eye for this guy. If this is I think I can use this. That's a big cool nose. <laughs> Maybe that not go there. Maybe that one we'll just put there. Easy peasy. What do we have here? Let's see, maybe we just put the Dracula teeth right there just for funsies. And we need an eye for you, Eddie. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Think of this one. There we go. And then maybe this little one. Or we could do this one that's too. Oh, that's good. We could do that there. And 
this leaf here. Hopefully it'll stay, but you know what? I don't think I need it. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Put a leaf up here, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my leaf up here. <coughs> And I think, we're, I think that's good for now. Give her some, give the eyeglasses some weirdness going on there. That's cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna uh, let that be for now. Who knows, halfway through the process, I can change my mind and we can do another setup. But for now, I think this is a good place to start. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start gel plating. Uh, I will do the best to um, let you know what paints I have, as I usually do in my videos, or what paints I'm using. Um, and then, um, uh, I am also using some labels I got in some Happy Mail, and these are, uh, it's a full page label divided down the middle, so I've got two halves of a, of a sheet of paper. Um, and so I'll bray off on some of those, and you know, hopefully we'll have some cool labels to play with it later. All right, stay tuned for the show. Okay, so I think at this point, I've got some really cool prints with this setup, um, but I'm already seeing some really cool outlines on the plate. So I think I'm gonna remove the stencil off this one and then um, grab another plate and do another setup. So let me go ahead and gently get these stencils off. You see, especially when using, um, when doing a long haul, always include at least one layer of black um, and alternate between your heavy body and your fluid paint and your soft body, all that. Mix it up. Definitely mix it up. That's going to help give you uh, a nicer outline and more interesting prints. And you notice as I was printing, 
uh, uh, putting down the golden fluid paints and those paints at the beginning, the distress paints, these are fluid as well. They're gonna pull up from the stencil, right? And so that creates um, really, really cool effects for you on the um, gel plate. So what we'll do is we'll pull this one up. I'm gonna let it dry completely and then we'll do a final pull because if you don't let it dry completely, you risk ruining your, the, the really cool outline that you've you know, taken time to develop. So I'm trying carefully, trying to get my little nail under this corner of the stencil so I don't rip it or you know, um, ruin the outline. And I'll hold it up to the technology so you can see how cool it really is. And whenever you're pulling stencils, especially these Yupo stencils, they're a hardy product. But with anything, if you have something on the plate down that's got more delicate uh, connections in some areas, take your time pulling it up. You can easily rip them if you pull it up the wrong way. So just take your time. All right, so this is what we're gonna see. That's what we will see. Let me see, let me see. All right, are you seeing that right? Just, it's this reflection of the light, but you can see how cool that's gonna be. See over the black, you can still see that outline. All right, great. All right, so let me let you dry. This plate's really, this plate's pretty clean. So I need, um, where are my other, oh, here they are. I put these bits over here. So what if we were, I really want to use this large one. So I think maybe, but I want to put it at an angle like so. And then maybe, it's not gonna fit in there. That one's too big as well. That's okay. And then one of these wacky ones. Well, I like this one, it's got the cool swirls in it. Uh, so. Put Drew there. And then, uh, na, 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 na. run back to him. Or put this one up here. Maybe we put it upside down. That way we can use the paper in different ways. I don't know, it's thought, but maybe bring it more down this way. Get a little, see if I can do this little curly cue up here. Just this one slightly. I can probably get it all on the plate. Another idea too, you can, if you're so adventurous, you can jelly plate these pieces individually and then cut them out and piece them all together in a collage if you wanted to. So um, that's another idea for for using masks and stencils. Uh, right there, what do we have here? Where are my teeth? Is? The goofy teeth. I'll put the goofy teeth on here. And I'll give them two of these little eyes. eyes there. We need another X eye here. Oops. There we go. And then, uh, maybe we do the 
Dracula mouth here. We can put our mustache there. Maybe do the leaf there. Upside down. That's cool. And yeah, why not? Let's put a couple of these weird bits in here. Maybe we'll replace this one. This one. Cool, makes them look weirder. What? I think these would look, that would look really cool right there. All right, let me get rid of some of this up here so we don't get it stuck now. All right, then move it to the side. It's getting warm out here today. I think we're having a burst of warmth because it's been very cool the past few days. I mean, in the low to mid 70s, so. Our fall is here, but I think the Indian summer's here for a little bit. Well, I mean, here in New England, the weather can change, you know, in two seconds. So that is um, something I grew up being used to. All right, so I'm gonna start painting. I'm gonna put on a little tunes for you, just something relaxing, and um, enjoy the other half.